So it is now a few days since you last seen me as at the end of last week I was revamping all the digital patterns ready for the digital pattern sale so that took a while so they're all really cool now they're all a lot better um, so they now have all the colour and stitch guides on them which is a lot better and right now so that took me a few days because I have a lot of patterns so I redid them all so they're all updated now so if you do get one you'll get all the new updates on there so it's now monday and i am putting together some toolkits as if you've seen the last vlog i have just got some project bags so the idea was that i was going to heat press them i was going to put the new designs on them and i also had another idea while i was designing those because they're taking some time to design is I am going to put some kits, like tool kits together where you will get a stick and stitch pack within that tool kit so that you can put those stick and stitch designs on the project bag and embroider them out or you could just embroider whatever you wanted on them. That way they can be more personalised to you so you could use the alphabet stick and stitch packs, you could use any of the seasonal, you could use any of them. So I'm going to do that as an example probably in the next clip. So I want to put it together and put an Etsy listing together. So I'll record it all and show you what I mean. But I just want to show you the two different types of kits I'm going to put together. Because I think I'm going to put like a deluxe version together. Which has like um, threads, scissors, needles. Like a lot more like of a bigger tool kit. And then I'm just going to put a really basic kit together. So that would maybe include like just the stick and stitch pack. Some needles. And maybe some threads not sure about the scissors but yeah let me know what you think and i'll show you let me turn you around so this would be the more like deluxe toolkit please ignore the prices they were just from a market i did and so they would include a stick and stitch pack so you could pick any of the other like stick and stitch packs and it would include a three inch hoop any of the needle embroidered needle minders a thread pack with five threads in it dmc friction pen scissors and the needle book so that would be like the deluxe version and then maybe if I did like a smaller version it would maybe just include like say a stick and stitch pack, needles and some threads. So it would be more like that and maybe some scissors, I don't know, maybe that could be like an additional add-on if you wanted it. So let me know what you think and then obviously you would then put these on here and create your own. So I'll show that in the next clip, I'll do one out next.
Check the quality. You can see what's going on. Is good? Hey gardening, making sure nobody touches it until it dries. Yeah? So I'm just going to let that dry now, it's pretty late so I am now going to go chill for a bit and possibly do some more of the jacket embroidery and watch some TV. So that will dry overnight and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. So it is now Tuesday, let's see what the bag looks like. I'm super happy with it it looks so good i really like the gold on the initials so i'm really happy with that so my plan for the rest of today is i'm going to be designing some more of the dtf prints for the printed versions of the bags i will also be maybe trying to make a belly band for the bundles that i put together yesterday seeing if an A4 sheet might go around it. I'm hoping it will because then I won't have to get specifically made ones and I could maybe see if I could make my own. If not, then I'll have to see how much that would be for the size I would need. And also, what else will I be doing? Oh, I have something to show you. So I have a lot of deliveries coming today, um, which I'll show you when they come. And I've also got some new exciting little products um, which I still need to make up but I will show you in a second. So these are just a few of the things I've got coming. I th again I think I've got some more coming today or tomorrow but these are going to be needle minders so they're quite small um, but they, they're going to be really good just for like little needle minders. So I've got those and these are brooches and these are I thought they'd be good for markets for like like lower price point products these are bigger ones like bigger brooches and these are necklaces uh, these are necklaces so it's like a darker wood oh, you can't really see it's the plastic but yeah so it's exciting so I, I might have a go at maybe gluing some magnets on the back of these today and see how they go so now I'm gonna go and do some designing <laughs>
Okay, so I've done those so far and I think they look really cool. So these are a little bit smaller, these ones. Um, but I've also realised that I've run out of these back easy grips, so I've had to order more. And what I've realised is they're quite expensive, so I think what I'm going to do, rather than keeping backs for all of them, I'm just going to keep like a few and then when they sell I'll put the backs on, just keep like a stock of them rather than putting a back on every single one. Um, and then just see how that goes later in the year when I have markets and stuff. I'll buy more like throughout the year just to even the cost out a bit. So yeah, I'm really happy with those. I've just got some more delivered as well. So I will show you those next. I've ordered the magnets for them. So I'll, again, I've run out of the other magnets as well. And I ordered some more glue. So I'll do that. And I'll probably show that in maybe next week's vlog. So these are the new ones that have come. So I just think they're really nice that they're like nature themed. And these are similar, but they're like more domed. And they're like a bit more muted colours. These are my favourite though. So I think these will be really good as needle minders. So again, there's quite a lot here. So I think I'll just put a few on. And then these are the other things that have come. So these are like necklaces. Those are really cool. And it's a little cat. Cat necklaces. And then there's these key rings. And then the more like plain key rings. So I'm going to be doing some embroidery in those. And then I've got some earrings as well. They might be quite cute to do with different woods. So yeah, I better get designing and some stitching done. <laughs> so I feel like I've got a lot of products in the making right now, which is very exciting, but also quite tiring. Um, I feel like I need to focus on a few things to start with because I've got so many things. And I'm hoping that some of the designs of my original embroidered needle minders will the popular ones I think I'll put in some of the necklaces and the brooches to start with but I think I really need to focus on I've ordered the belly bands now I had to order them as the A4 just didn't work as you might have seen in one of the clips so I've ordered those so hopefully they'll be here soon maybe next week probably and then I can start putting those together I've got all the other stuff for them so they'll be out soon and then in the meantime, I'm going to work on the DTF prints because I haven't done any, maybe one. I've done one, maybe. And yeah, I've got the heat press and I haven't used it yet, which is sad. I'm sad about that. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do that next. And then once that's done, then I'll maybe focus more on like the brooches and the jewellery and stuff. Because I, I did think of that as more of a markets thing and I don't generally do a lot of markets. Like the main markets I do do are like near the end of the year like september october like festival of thrift and there's one in Leyburn, there's anima there's anima makers market something like that so yes i'm gonna try and focus more on the dtf prints and the bags because i have just got those delivered um you'll see the ba big bag <laughs> wait i'll show you so they're all down there in that big box <laughs> um this was something I was I got just to um, organise my alphabet stick and stitches in, some tote bags and a restock of some hoops. So I think I'll show you those in the next vlog and like opening them. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited for the heat press bags. We'll do that next as well as the toolkit. So mainly I'm doing the project bags next to get those together and done because I think they'll be really good. So yeah, so I will see you next time i hope you've enjoyed it please let me know what you think of the needle minders if you like them i'm gonna try and put the ones that i have got on etsy and i will see you next time thank you for watching bye